Hey everybody, we are back. Look at us. Uh, oh, my thing is all screwed up. But don't worry, I'll talk while I fix it. Uh, everything's fine. So if you weren't here last time, whenever that was, it's been a little while now. Um, but we, uh, we've, been, we've been up to a lot. We, we did not stage a coup, despite what people might say. Yeah. Uh, if you go way, way back, there's this thing called The Vanishing. Really, I mean, you should just look it up, read about it. Um, watch, watch our past episodes. It's this terrible thing that is going to make everyone forget all about who they are and blanket the entire world in darkness. So we're trying to stop that. But we got this other problem that our, our, whole, um, our whole kingdom here kind of went uh, all pear-shaped. And uh, we've been trying to sort that out because we got to do that before we do The Vanishing. They might be related. We don't really know. We're still putting the pieces together. We have a we have a prophecy. We have this big old stack of papers that kind of tells us what to do, but we don't really get it. Anyway, we're putting the pieces together. We're getting there. We're making progress every day. And uh, so recently, we we came back to our hometown. We busted into the castle. We killed a whole lot of people. Um, Wigbit jumped up on the throne and pummeled the king, but he wasn't really the king, so it's all fine. And everybody's gonna believe us. That it wasn't actually the king. It was really a tiger man in disguise. What? Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. We had this big battle in the throne room. There was a tiger man. There was a maybe a Molly Dias, this other guy. And then, the, like, an orc assassin, half orc assassin showed up who could, like, really hide in the shadows real good. Um, and it was just a big mess. But anyway, the upside of all that is that all the nobles are, are on our side. They all believe us about what is actually happening. Um, uh, Brandstorm Raven is about to flip, like, any minute now, he's gonna be back to his normal self, Ephelus is gonna show up, everything is gonna be fine, cause we did definitely are not responsible for any kind of coup or any other illegal activity. <laughs> right. Despite what the Tiger Man disguises the king says about us. So, uh, so yeah, we said, the Tiger Man ran away, the other, the orc that we were trying to catch got away. The Molly Dias got away. So everyone we were actually trying to deal with got away. Um, but the Molly Dias did not take a hostage. Did not take a hostage. So that is good. Uh, but yeah, the, the, all the bad guys knew that we were so overwhelmingly powerful that they had to like do some kind of planar <laughs> magic and, and get away before we killed them. Uh, right. So much planar magic. Yeah. <laughs> so so we're, we're, we're picking up right here in the throne room, right after uh, we've discovered what is actually going on, we have all the answers, and we're going to set things right. Right? Right. 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 And here we are. And our scene opens, and everything is momentarily quiet as the sounds of battle have ceased. I don't think the stench of death is quite there yet, but it's coming. It's so much um, <laughs> but, and yeah. and that that moment as Bran Stormraven collapses to the floor, uh, being pummeled uh, from all sides, uh, and there's a silence as enemies planar planar magic themselves away, as it was said. Um, and then everything goes still and quiet for a moment uh, until there's a scream that pierces the throne room uh, as one of the noble women, Kiss, has come over and has seen uh, the actual dead king lying uh, in this adjoining hallway. Uh, and so, actually, the first thing I want to do before we get into this is I think at this point, I'm going to turn off the dynamic lighting. I think that gives you ability to see see the board, right? Yep. Yeah, because yeah, at this point, it's okay. Um, um, so, yes, she lets out uh, a scream at seeing the king, and she's just kind of standing there, like, looking at the body. Um, and then, of course, there's a, that ripple of 
what are you screaming about? There's so much dead in here. Should we be already be screaming about that? Uh, you know, uh, so there's that, that momentary, uh, you know, what's going on thing. Uh, and then she says, the, the king, the, the king is, the king is. And then she looks, eyes of daggers at Wigbit. You've, you've murdered the king. No, no he, we have I, not murdered did the not, king. I didn't do it. He was already there when we fled around the corner chasing the imposter. The imposter got to him before we could. It was a it was a tiger. He disappeared. The tiger? <laughs> yeah, he turned he turned into the tiger and he disappeared. Oh, the false the fake king. Yeah. Yes. We Wigbit and I fought him in this hallway. I stood over the real king's body myself as I fought the imposter. It was him. He he must have done it. I mean, is he is he is he I mean, how long has he been dead? Um, and so as y'all are like talking, uh, this, the other noble woman, uh, Tatiana, uh, when she hears this, uh, she comes like bustling over like as fast as she can. I mean, she's moving, you know, pretty quickly. And uh, she essentially just kind of, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, you know, like, and like she, she gets her, whoa, she goes through the wall. Um, so the oh. other thing is, I, f I actually forgot my mouse, so I'm having to do this without the mouse, which is really obnoxious. <laughs> that, <that's fun>. so... <laughs> well, like it's okay tonight because there shouldn't be a lot of map manipulation tonight. But, uh, but yes, she, she comes over and uh, and she like she she walks like all the way to the the king's body and she kneels down, um, and uh, <laughs> and uh, and she's. She, I mean, she's just, she's just staring at the body. Uh, she hasn't said anything, um, you know, and she hasn't looked at anybody and she's just kind of kneeling over the body. Um, and she's not like trying to heal it or anything, but she's just kind of kneeling there, you know, um, just kind of staring at the body. Um, but Kiss is like, you know, looking at you like a tiger. Yeah, tiger. He. There was no tiger here. You jumped on the throne and you pummeled him with your weapons. Yeah, but it wasn't the king. It was the tiger. I when I was hitting him, did you see he he didn't bleed at all while I was hitting him? Well, he certainly doesn't have any blood left now. Look at him. No, that's not the person I was hitting. I was no. hitting the tiger. I mean, he, look. In clothing, he was wearing. How long clothes. has he been dead? It's humanoid. What? Uh. So, when you're like examining the body, the wounds look fresh enough to be very recent, as in like today. Um. Beyond that, it's you know, you would need a lot more time to study if like internal injuries and all of that stuff. But just looking outside and examining the body and all the wounds that you see. Yeah, I mean they look fresh enough to be. But I mean, is the body still warm? Um, no. All right. So it's been a few hours. Is that what you say? I'm asking, has it been a few hours? Oh yeah, I mean, it's, it's, yes, right. yes. It's, I it's, say King Celsus was killed today, but King Celsus was killed hours ago. His body is cold can we bring him back is it um does bring, bring him back up? this is Canaeus walking up I thought the whole point of your rebellion was to overthrow the king oh, no, so we, stop we the did false not king. fight against the king we're fighting against an imposter It wasn't a rebellion, really. Does it look like the body was killed here or moved to here? You would guess moved to here. Um, as I point to the lack of blood around the body and say, um, King Celsus was not killed in this space. 
He was Maybe killed on blood around the body. The wounds are fresh today, but the wounds are not fresh yeah. from now. Yeah, there, there's certainly blood in this hallway. There was a body of blood there. But they are, all right, there's not like a pool of blood, and there's not, right. yeah, 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 yeah. And I, so I point to different signs of evidence that the body isn't fr wasn't killed here. It was moved to here after he was killed. Somehow this imposter made its way into this keep, killed the king, entranced Grand Storm Raven, put itself on the throne. And now it's fled, now that it's done what it came here to do. Escaped with its life. But we can't let... We can't let whatever it was planning to do go any further than this. Did How did Bran disappear? Did he go through the same... Bran's here, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. He's, yeah, he's, yeah. he's on the ground asleep. Yeah, yeah he's just Actually, taking yeah. a nap. Oh, nice. I'm going to clear up some of, this, uh, some of these bodies. I don't want to delete them yet, because... Yeah. Like because like why? Because why? I like the, the mass um, look. The mass look of all the bodies looks good. I don't know if I like when yeah, he's like, I just got to leave these bodies here. Don't worry about it. I mean, you never know, you know? You might just... <laughs> you just have to I need to get them. back up at some point. You never know. Right. Uh, yeah. They get back down, but they get up again. <laughs> Uh, to know, come on. Yeah. Um, Aaron also points to the lack of um, wounds from a pickaxe or from a warhammer. Yes, does this look like a person who was pummeled? Yeah, this person repeatedly. was never attacked by wig bit, and you can tell that. I mean, there are there are there are bruises and cuts and <clears throat> those type of things on the king's face. So I mean, not, I mean, there's not war pick holes in his skull. No, but I mean, uh, Wigbit did not ever hit him with the pointy end of the war pick. He always hit him. He always hit him with the flat side. So bruising is right in line doing. with what Wigbit was doing. But also, that's not how wounds work. You don't stand over somebody and beat on them. And then once they die, all the wounds magically appear. Not how, not how it works. Right, they appeared when true. Wigbit. They appeared when Wigbit hit him. They're right. No, everybody watched. No, initially. Everybody watched how Wigbit hit him. Ah, uh, not everybody. Most people didn't. Most people were busy. There was a big smoke. <laughs> true. But somebody saw. You saw. Who are you saying this that? This guy saw. I'm not exactly sure, honestly. How is King Solomon? Point He's just pointing that, around like, that, 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 you saw it. That, that you saw, saw it. You saw it, right? Tell him. Tell him, Kuroda. You saw it, Kuroda. I don't know. Did Kuroda see it? No. Oh, <laughs> By the time they got up here, uh, the king was already in the hallway. Sanaeus, you saw it? You were, you, right? Or is it Kanaeus? Kanaeus. Kanaeus. Sorry. Uh, Alexandru, uh, who's by this point, like leaning on his sword is the question is, what are we doing from this point forward? Oh, we're losing people. Do we need to refresh? Oh, oh boy. No, I'm here. No, you didn't need it. I just turned it off on purpose. I'm here. Oh, okay. okay. Well, it looks yeah. like Mike optionally is muted. Okay. 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 Yeah. Josh is too. Okay. Um, this is the the question is uh, what do we, where do we go from here? Well, there's a lot of Valais's troops still here. Just somebody's got to be in charge. It's in charge. Not... In charge of what? The the city the everything and Alexandru is uh you know I guess by this point he probably would have come over here and looking at the king and he's he, so he's looking down at the king's body and, and then he looks back at you Wigbit and 
We need Ephelis. And we need to make sure that there are no more imposters in the castle. And then we need whoever is... We need someone to step up and take command here and finish dealing with yeah. restoring rule of this land to who is supposed to rule it. Not the, the tiger man's gonna come back. And who is that? I... Rowan of the South Ward. This is Kanea speaking. I assumed that you all as a group would know who is next in succession. <laughs> If we can. So before you even finish your sentence, the nobles that are left immediately start doing that noble thing where they all start talking at one time. And it's right. like, it's a cacophony of like, well, this person, no, 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 this person, well, what are you talking about? Like, and it's, you know, and it, the conversation gets nowhere, but it's, it's, it's what nobles do best, right? And that's, that's what's happening, like, you know, and Alexander is just kind of standing there. He's not really, he's, he's like, he's got that resigned look of, do we have to do this again? Um, and Canaeus is clearly like leading the charge of we need uh, we need a strong ruler in place, and he doesn't outright say, "and this king is not the one," but he pretty much says, "this guy is not the one," um, you know. And so he's leading kind of that faction of like the argument, you know. And then, um, and then is like this guy, is he talking about the dead king? Yeah. Yeah, I agree yeah. that a corpse is not the right <laughs> choice right now. <laughs> or the live king. There are times yeah. that a corpse would be better than the leader. Than not right, sometimes. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, and and uh, Kiz is kind of like echoing what he is saying. Uh, you know, um, but she's also repeating those calls of like She's she's still very much on the wig that killed the king, and the collectors have started this rebellion. And again, she's not outright saying like you should be tried for your offenses, but she's kind of saying you should be tried for your offenses. Like that, kids, kids, Elizabeth. Where is she? She's right here. Okay. Oh, no. yeah. easy, Farron. I think kids come step forward. Uh, you do not address me. So you are you are accusing us of killing. You me. do not speak to me. I speak to you now. I speak with you. And she like turns her body away from you and looks in another direction. Somebody that's more receptive, come come to me, and I'll show you that King Celsus has been dead for hours. Well, it's what we're doing. And so, like Tatiana is right there beside you, and she's. Yeah. You know, she's kneeling down and she kind of looks up at you. I kneel with her. She says, you are saying. And I, I put her hand on his neck and show her the body temperature. And I show her the um, age of the wounds and lack of blood pooling. I show her all of the evidence that this king has been dead for hours. I step her through it like a doctor would. And she listens. I mean, she's, she's, she's listening yeah. to, to what you're saying. Um, uh, ro roll an insight check. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You're just taking her right through it. Yep. yep. She's got it. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. She definitely understands. She understands all of it. Yep. All right. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. So Baird's taking a few minutes to take her through, like, you know, body and blood and all that stuff. And she's listening. And that's, yeah. Um, and in the meantime, like, like I said, the nobles are, um, you know, um, Dagnow and Elazar over here that are, like, uh, if you remember, Dagnal was the the older, well, the, probably the, the oldest, the oldest human, um, and he had uh, he had dragged Ning's body out of the the combat, uh, and he, uh, you know, at some point when there's like a a a break in the arguing, uh, he says, uh, "And what do we do with her?" And he's 
looking at Ning. Uh, and then he, he looks over at uh, Milan, who's still unconscious, and him. And then he, he looks over to where uh, uh, the where there had been uh, Hingorn, one of the, the young nobles, uh, and that. What do we do with that? And then, of course, the nobles start immediately, like, you know, immediately, like, there's more. Yeah. So for this, like, little segment here, there's a lot of back and forth amongst nobles that really, you know, if you jump in and ask questions, like, I can provide, but otherwise, it's a, it's a bunch of noise. Um, and in I'll the meantime... What yeah. Milan's crime was. It was treason. It's not treason if it's not the king. It's a tiger. And I'll keep talking about it being a tiger and sounding super crazy. <laughs> what the... Do we know what this tiger is? He's in the prophecy. What, is, what does it say in the prophecy? It says darkness covers everything. A tiger laughs. The battle axe cracks. The purple ring pulsates. Ruin, destruction. Is this the end? The tiger laughs. Tiger Prophesies him twice. Laugh a lot. And this is why... I'm not crazy. And I'm, and I'm trying to... And we're good guys. Shout <laughs> over the nobles. I know it's loud, but I'm trying. Right, 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 right yeah. I mean, there's actually not yeah. that many of them, so I mean, right. it's, you know, there, there's some bickering, but yeah, if you speak loudly, yeah. you can, yeah. And this is exactly why we need to get things under control and get someone on the throne now, because we don't have any more time to waste. These pieces of the prophecy are falling into place quickly. And if we don't get order in this kingdom, then we have no chance of stopping the vanishing. So we need to get things under control, get someone in charge, get the invaders out, so we can put an end to all this before the end comes for all of us. And Franz is coming. We're... I... Kiz, Kiz <laughs> says, we... <laughs> we are at this place because of you. No, and now you say we have to get this under control? We're trying to get under control. The tiger's the one who ruined everything. Where's Ephelus? We need Ephelus. Ephelus? Yeah, where is he? Ephelus has betrayed and fled his kingdom. The tiger. He betrayed the tiger. <laughs> and <laughs> Ephelus has fled? Is he here? He's here Not... somewhere. Is he here? Is he protecting? Is he here defending... And she points again at the body of the king. The king? I think not. He has done more defending of this realm than any of you. All of you put together. And look where we're at now. And if you say one more word about Ephelus, <laughs> it will be the last word that you say. Meaning what? You're going to threaten me? I think you understand, my. You're going to cut me down just as you've cut everyone else down here? Rowan of the South Ward? If you you are not the you are not the noble soldier of the South Ward that is whispered. His name is whispered. You you are nothing more than an Alexander. Like puts his hand up and says, "All right, all right, all right, all right, all right." All right. And he like puts his hand on Kiz and says, "Kiz, enough, enough, Rowan, peace, peace." He says, "I." And he he points at uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I was like, wait, what's going on here? <laughs> oh, Rowan, Rowan loves Ephelus. Rowan is all about yeah. <laughs> Um And he says, uh, and he, he points at Bran and says, we need to find out what side he's on. Maybe when he wakes and, up, he'll be himself again. Can we get Maybe him a week? Restrain him just in case. And uh, Radomir says, well, I can, I can heal him. After we restrain him. Hopefully that influence has ended upon him, but it's good to be safe. <clears throat> I know what it's like to lose control of your will. <laughs> So yeah, we'll we'll bind. Wrap up the king. Uh, uh, wrap up brand. Sorry, wrap up brand. Yep, he's not king yet. And yeah. then, <laughs> wrap up brand. 
Can you start Raymond? Nod to Radomir to go ahead and get him up. Just a quick out of question. Out of, you know, question. Is Mike, Mike, are you non camera for everybody right now or is it just me? I don't see yeah, him. No, okay, I just want to make sure, like, yeah. I wouldn't know there. Okay, cool. You're cool. You're fine. You're fine. If you need to, that's cool. I just want to make sure. Am I on camera? Yeah. 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 Now you are. You are now. Did you mean to be? I hadn't been on camera? No. No. Like, for, Not last... for like the past two minutes. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, no. Yeah. I thought it was on purpose. <laughs> no. Yeah, I just want to make sure, like, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. On my on my screen, I could see myself, so I didn't think that I was off camera. That's weird. That's weird. I also still have like the little muted microphone. Oh yeah, he's oh. definitely still got the muted microphone. Muted. But, but we can, can hear you. Hear muted, but yeah. Yeah. we can hear you. <laughs> huh. Roll twenty is just making improvements. This is growing pains. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> How about hey, now? there we go. Yep. Yeah, we can still hear you. Yeah. That's so weird. But is the <laughs> muted thing there? No. no, it's gone now. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you fix it by muting yourself? Yeah. Perfect. Good. That worked well. You know, and plug it and plug it back in again. <laughs> Anyways. So you you bind Storm Raven's hands and So he still had his helmet on too. Do we remove the helmet yeah. or do we Yeah do we like Trying to look him, yeah, yeah, look him in the eyes. Okay. Now, yeah. um, and Radomir looks up at y'all like, "We're ready." Go ahead. And then, uh, I have my staff up. I have my staff up ready to do some subdual damage. Because apparently, that's what we do now. It's new people. Sometimes I mean, it's, it's Brandstorm, right? Yeah, Brand. I know. Yeah. You go way back. Everybody else. Yeah. Yeah, kill them all. From no. no, I I subdued like twenty dudes yeah. in this room. Dude, you a did. Lot I subdued a lot too. There's I mean, a lot of knocked out dudes down. in this room. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I that's my unconscious. Um, and so it's it... delicious. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. It's so, so Radomir will like, you know, actually he'll. He'll like start to cast, and then he'll look over at Janella. It's like, why don't you do that thing? You and she's like, okay, fine. And so she walks over, and and she does the the thing that Rowan knows how to do, where she like places her hand on him. Yeah. You know, it's like I'm just gonna give him a little bit, like just a little love tap. Just a little bump. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um. And so yeah, she puts her hand on him, and uh, you know, he let me take the X off of him because he, you know, gets back to. To one, and he, you know, so you hear like, see like the eyes kind of flutter open for he's trying to fight it, and he he tries to obviously lift his hand up to like put him up to his head, you know, but he can't because they're bound, you know, and he, yeah. and he uh, why, why. Am I laying on the floor with my hands bound? Perfect. That's the last thing I remember. Who is talking to me? Rowan? Because <laughs> like he's got a face down. He's like... Yeah. Okay, <laughs> you know, he's okay, wearing like... plate armor, so he can't, he can't like flip over real easily. So he's like... Yeah, I'll, I'll help him like roll over and sit up. And... Rowan. Oh. And he's all beat up, and I mean, yeah. y'all, I mean, y'all, y'all hit him, y'all hit him a lot, you know. I mean, he's, yeah, you know, he's, yeah. Please, oh, Rowan. Yes. All right, so I'm dead. No. Cool. You're not dead. No, you're good to know. You're not. You're not dead. No, but, Rowan but you're. Dead. But Rowan's dead. So Rowan was dead, and he I returned. Was. To Ow. And he looks over at Kiz and he's like, shit, I'm not dead. Right. <clears throat> uh, where's the wait, we're in the throne room. Wait, where's the where's the key? Where's where's the king? You don't even remember coming into this room. Yeah, I came in here and to have a 
conversation with with the king and then we and then we and he looks down this hallway mm-hmm. and then we we went we went there and about that time he looks over and he sees Canaeus and he goes Dad, I think I said something to you and Canaeus rolls his eyes like yeah you did <laughs> so, when was, was this? Kanea says, well, it's not the first time you've said something inappropriate, but I believe, if I remember correctly, I can probably pinpoint the, t- the, the specific instance you were referring to, Storm Raven. Um, and that was six days ago. Well, five, sorry. Five days ago and some, some part of the next day. And and Brand's again got that kind of raised eye, like, what? What are you? Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> this just powers out. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, so Suv lost his power. For those yeah. who are watching, so yeah, we'll yeah. Uh, hopefully we'll be back soon. It'll be a green box for a little while. Yeah. <clears throat> and I, uh, five five days, you say. Is that the last thing you remember, Brian? Yeah, I, we went back and I requested an audience with 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 Lord. So, can you take these things off my hands? Yes. Yeah. We'll start undoing Ow. the pounds. God, who tied those? That was good. Sorry, oh. it's because oh. the last time you were conscious, you were trying to kill us. What? I was trying to kill you. So, yes. And him? Mm-hmm. Someone. And he looks over at the bear and he goes, I mean, I could probably see me taking a swing at him, but All the rest of, of you? You were. Not in your right mind. You know, an imposter came and took King Celsus's place and somehow overcame your mind and made you do his bidding. Oh. He right. was a tiger. Did what? You, the Tiger Man? You you didn't you never saw him? Tiger Man. He probably came to you in the guise you're, of King. You're still Celsus. a strange you're still a strange fellow, Wigman. Am I the only person who ever, saw the tiger? <laughs> ever, I, didn't, I only saw him as the king. I was unconscious when Are you he guys giving me weird looks or <laughs> I mean, I mean, do you believe at this me? Point, they're just called looks, aren't they? Yeah. Like, <laughs> I guess I don't pick up on it. Mike. This isn't that weird compared to like. Yeah, I mean, Gus Wigbit looks at stuff. you, Wigbit. Gus looks at you and says, "I believe you." Thanks, Gus. <laughs> but you know, he's the a is not skeptical. <laughs> yeah, he's not. Yeah. I mean, whatever we were. Seen, the Ferens seen plenty. Hey. And whatever hey. we were fighting was certainly not the king. That was quick. Well, that's not too bad. So, regardless of what, where is, where is the real king? Where is, ah, and he like pushes himself up off his, the floor. The oh. king has been killed. His body is down. The oh, and he sits right back down. Oh. So you don't remember anything about the executions, the prisoners? Executions? Prisoners, dead king. Yes. No. A lot has happened. The reason why we're here is we we stormed the keep. We came over the gates to stop a public execution of many of the citizens of this town. The, After the city had surrendered to Vlas's army, the imposter came over the walls. Yes, the imposter gave over this city and let Vlas's will be done here and was going to publicly execute, was going to let them walk all over our city and not stand in their way. Plan, I think, must have been to cause chaos so the city would fall, be without a leader. Well, sounds like he succeeded. He has not succeeded. Not yet. He only succeeds 
If we don't leave here with a leader. So we need to get things under control here quickly. We must call council. <sighs> council. What about the... Wait, hold on. Wait, stop. You said Valais? They... They won? Well, not so much. We, we surrendered. They were allowed in. Yeah, so they won then. Without battle. The, oh, there was battle. Trust me. The imposter king. Yeah, the imposter king claimed he would save lives of his people, his people, by surrendering. But he was too damn confident. wasn't him i mean he was sitting oh, on the, right if... he was sitting on the throne begging for wigbit to pummel him wow sounds like the king celsus you know i'm sure <laughs> yeah that does none of that sounds right not nothing nothing oh god <laughs> it looks at janelle again can you like tap me again or something because oh <laughs> she's just looking at him guess not um we, so what about the we, rest of the what a, so there's so there's Valais troops all throughout the city is that what you're saying there are no there are fewer than there were the order the order of light has moved against them and uh radimir kind of bowed his head and brand a little bit and says um we uh there's some fighting going on, probably as we speak. And Brand's, you know, kind of raises his eyes as much as he can. You mean in the city? Radmir, <laughs> I, I would think so. It, unless things have gone really terribly or really well, but I don't think they've gone really well, so. There were many patrols in the streets, but people here have started standing up. Not letting their city fall. At least not easily. We encountered some resistance getting here. Oh, in some. fact. It was mine there. <laughs> it was. You are, you are, your video is off, Sue. <laughs> what? I didn't realize you were here, Sue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought well, you were just like... Is it, is it better now? Can you nope. see me now? No. No. Nope. Oh, okay. We can hear you. You're a green pattern still. Nope. Cool. Yeah. I thought Grim was just like blending into the, no, the shadows like, right now. Is yeah. he gone, gone now? Uh oh. Is, somebody's refreshing us. That's me. I thought I forgot. Oh, fresh whenever somebody it refreshes that everyone. Now. Yeah, it does. Yep. We all <laughs> we still don't see, together. We still don't see your video though. What? You guys have Johnny though? I'm just going to. No. Johnny's spinning. Uh, yeah, I've got sorry. Johnny, Drew, and, and I Mike refreshed Spinner. us and mm -hmm. killed Johnny. I'm just going to go ahead and refresh the webpage. All fun uh, games when we kill the DM. Yep. Ah, <laughs> uh, see, aha. Super refresh power. You can see Soup. Yep, where's Johnny? I yep. can't see Drew or Johnny. Oh, Johnny's coming. Here he comes. Oh. Here he comes. I'm on Drew. I hear Drew. They're spinning. I do not. Oh. They're spinning arrows for me. This is a powerful tool. That's Drew. Yep, there's That's Drew. Johnny. Now Sue's gone. No Sue. Sue's gone. Oh no. I'm here now. Yeah. Can somebody play Yakety Sax while we do this? <laughs> oh, like lost, oh, lost to Johnny. I like this. No new, Johnny or Sue. This new refresh yeah. power is pretty great. <laughs> works, pretty strong. Works really great. Really funny. Mass refresh. You're not here. You're not here. You think you're here, but you're not here. Oh, I just saw a caution symbol on Johnny. Yeah. All right. Now who we got? Who do you have? I you. <laughs> I see you. You two. I see only you. Oh, I see Drew. I don't see Drew. Huh. 
I see Drew and Josh, but That's I do not me. see Sue for Johnny. I don't hear them. Oh, did the full refresh do it? Full refresh. No? I see Drew and Josh. I see just you. I don't I still don't have Drew. Oh, he is there. Not for me. He's a spinning arrow now. Oh, there's Johnny. I, Johnny. I got Johnny. Everybody but Soof. I don't have Drew yet. I have Drew. I have Josh. I have Mike. Uh, I got you and Mike. Johnny. Should we should we give it a minute? Maybe. Yeah, let's just let it settle. I don't oh. know if that does Drew's, anything or not. Drew's here. Soup is here. No, they're not. Lies. Oh, see what the f lies. <laughs> I just Wait, have can the... you guys can you guys hear Drew? No. I can hear. I don't. Oh, there's Soup. Soup. Oh, wait, I got Soup. Everybody. I got everybody I got but Drew. Drew. I got. I have everybody. All right, Johnny, have, you just tell, tell me what Drew says. <laughs> Josh, hey, well, go, Josh, refresh your web browser. I did. Yeah. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Do it, do it oh, again? Man. I don't know. I don't know. Mm. Oh, there's Drew. I see Josh. Now I got everybody but Soof. I got everybody yeah. but Damn it. I see everyone but Soof. I can have three people, but not Soof, four. Soof, can you hear us? Soof. Can you oh. hear us? No. Mm -hmm. No. This is oh, there he is. He's is... there. No, he's not. Oh, he's yeah, he is. Oh. Everyone can you hear, can you hear us, though? Oh. oh, this is. Oh, there he is. I don't see him. I got him. I don't. Oh, All right, I, don't there he is. Oh, there is. I got him. I got him. Okay. Right. Yep. Great. Right. That was great. That was great TV. I feel, I feel like we just earned something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> XP. Give us our experience yeah. points. I'll get XP. <laughs> experience I'm going to take, gonna take some XP 20. for that as well. Oh, no. It's all no, good. Yeah. You owe us yeah. all experience roll 20. The tiger just gained the levels. This is cool. Uh -oh. No. Good. No, that's great. That means more experience <laughs> when we kill it. Right. Oh, true. That is true. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Everybody so wins. You get a level after 20? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, monster challenge rates go up way higher than twenty. Yeah, yeah. Y'all's mm -hmm. levels don't, but theirs. We just we just haven't figured out how to like rate the the experience yet. Right. What experience right, right, right. is level twenty one? Yeah. We just mold that class. Yeah. Start yeah. your next twenty Start levels. Start picking up yeah. some other classes. Yeah. yeah. Does that mean that does that mean that after level twenty, then you go back to level one and you can start picking them up quick? That would be actually probably the easiest way to do it. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Like you reset, but you have like a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, like just like in video games. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. like um, what was that? Chrono Trigger. Chrono yeah, Trigger, you could restart plus, and right. so you restart the game, but you have right. all of your stuff and all your new, levels. Yeah. Right. New game plus. Yep. yep. So we keep our hit points, we keep our stats, we keep all that stuff, but then we start accruing all the all the level yeah, things yeah. again. Everything's level we're one. At level, we're at level one. So get another stat oh, bonus. We're at level one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> John, Johnny seems skeptical. Yeah. Our proficiency what? bonus would go down to one, but all of the I just said okay. Mm -hmm. there. Oh, yeah. man. Just imagine how quick it's going to be to level, though. We just yeah. go, like, traipsing through wherever we want, just killing yeah. everything. Just everything. Like how, how many levels could I go through with just using my um, armor of Agathus? A lot. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Anyways. So, yeah. I don't actually remember the last sentence because it was like 42 yeah. refreshes ago. But, um, yeah, so, so Bran asked about the city. Uh, there's an assumption that there's a uh, amount of, uh, you know, there's a fighting going on in the city. Um, yeah, I think we said uh, we met resistance on the way here, and that was kind of the, yeah. the last thing. Right. Uh, like, I don't know, 24 to 30 seconds of resistance, I feel like it was. <laughs> Give or take. Yeah. <laughs> was it a minute or more? We had, like, two real short fights. Yeah. 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 How long were we on the battlements for? No, that was different. Yeah. That, that was, was, like, three minutes. Yeah. Getting here... Three minutes. We probably fought for less than a minute. 
On Three minutes down. and two episodes. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, well, uh, so, uh, he stands back up again. I mean, and he, he like pushes his way past, like comes over. He wants to go look at the look at the body of the king. Uh, and Tatiana is still there, uh, and she's just kind of. And then she looks over at him, uh, and he doesn't, uh, you know, he doesn't always like do a lot of scowl. He doesn't. I mean, he doesn't always. He, he scowls a lot at the nobles, but he doesn't really. You can tell he he just kind of looks at her and sort of does that whole like head nodding thing, uh, and then he looks at the body of the king and is like, "Yep, he's dead." Well, I guess I'm out of a job soon. Uh, I guess not, I gotta... You were not acting of your own will. We know that. Yeah. I'm not sure uh, that's going to matter, but that's for later. For now, we need to get the city under control. Yes. Uh... He uh he comes back out here and he looks at uh <laughs> he looks he looks at the, the the soldiers that are still standing. Uh, and he looks over at uh whichever one's clean. He looks at Fim. He's like, yeah, you. Uh, where's uh where's Captain John Dar? And uh, Fim Fim was kind of leaning on his bow, and all of a sudden Fim like snaps to attention. And he's like, uh. I, Captain Jondar was thrown off the battlements in the fighting. Well, is he? Uh, I, th I think he perished, sir. All right, well. What about Captain Sevenson? Uh, no, sir. He, he, was, uh, he was slain by uh, this dark bolt that just kind of came out of nowhere. I, I don't, we don't... And uh, yeah, so he, <laughs> he's like, Lieutenant Jorgensen? Ah, uh, no, sir. He, he fell in the Bailey. <sighs> And so he goes through a few more, and he's like, who do we have left? He's like, well... Bandana um, Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> he's alive. And uh, he's looking at Fim, like, with his bow, and he's like, eh. And then he looks over, and he sees Talon, the Talon over there, and he's like, you. He's like, yes, sir. You Talon, are... One hit uh, point. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but pr private, private talent, sir. Pri All right, Captain Talon, this is what I need you to do. The old promotion. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. I need you to gather up uh, as many as you can. Meet me in the Bailey uh, in a quarter hour uh, with whoever you can find. Uh, and take uh, Lieutenant, and he points back at Fim. Oh, oh, oh Fim, sir. Lieutenant Fim and Lieutenant, and he like, points to everybody. All right, you all, you're all lieutenants, and they're all like, <laughs> they're looking at each other, and they're like, like well, yeah, go. Now it's quarter hour. Oh, uh, yeah, yes, sir. And they like, you know, they so they 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 leave, and then he he turn and then I like as he's going through all this, and he like turns back and looks at y'all and says, "What are y'all gonna do?" Rest for more than a quarter hour. We need to find Ephelus. You're dead too. <laughs> he says, he looks at him. You're shrugs. dead too. Death is just a journey to another place. Oh, I still not convinced that's, on that. That's unfortunately true. Uh, we gotta find Ephelus. You cannot die when you're dead. Ephelus. You do. <laughs> Do you know sleep. where he would be? Ephelus. They say he fled. Where is... Oh. Oh, F... And then he, like, he turns around and he's like, yeah, where... Oh, man. You don't, you don't know where he is? No. Since when? When was the last time you, you saw him? 
When's the last time anybody saw him? <laughs> he just like yells into the room. I haven't seen him since before I died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we saw him when we left the city. Yeah, it's before we we left. He was gonna go talk to the the half elf and send him after us. That's the last time I saw him. Any, Where'd I, you I mean, go to the graveyard? Oh, shit. Oh, well, did he come back from the graveyard? Oh, he... So he... That's the last time y'all seen him? I think... Has anybody seen him yeah. since he went to the graveyard? Yes, yes that is correct. <laughs> oh, so... So he... Dude. He went... All right. Oh, did he not make it out? Is he dead? Where's my, where's my damn? Sword? And he like, he really like reaches down and picks up his sword, and he like, he leans on it. Yeah. So he went to the cemetery, uh, and while he was there, uh, this half elf, half elven fella showed up, and they, 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 they had a disagreement, I guess. And um, uh, Ephela said that, uh, uh, what's that? Alar, that his name? Alar, a- yeah, Alar, Alar, the the the, <laughs> he's like pointing, the 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 wizard's tower, Alar, and, yeah, and yeah, a couple of you remember him. He uh he said that Alar showed up and and helped him fend off this 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 half elf. Uh, uh, I don't really know what the cemetery looks like at this point, but it's probably not. Probably not in the best shape, but it. So, and the reason I know this is because then uh, Ephela showed up at the North Face as uh, the the fighting was commencing, uh, and then uh, he uh, he and um, Oma Oma Elham, uh, they uh, well we were fighting, and they they led a small group after uh, well anyway uh, anyway they 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 went into the the vast wood um and that was the last i've seen him uh but i got i got this message you know ephla sends messages have y'all had that experience yes. before yeah, yeah so he, he sent me a message right before i came in to talk to the king and he he said i can see if i can remember this something about he was separated from the company he was with uh he said that the 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 uh the people that he was with went chasing after the enemy uh into what he assumed was some kind of trap near red tree uh and he said he found a friend of sorts and and his last words were she says i'll be away a few days and, and then he and I was I mean I responded to him and then he didn't he never responded back I mean I I think I responded I thought and I don't know it, magic but anyway I I didn't and he he didn't respond again and I haven't well I, I mean if he tried to cunt anyway I don't that was the last I've heard of him it's been more than a few days well, yeah, if it's been five days, six days, whatever it's been. Uh, ah, really, he hasn't been back at all? And he, like, he's looking around at everybody else in the room. And they're all just... And then uh, Alexandru says, um, Ephelus, like the collectors here, have been deemed... Uh, Outlaws, I suppose. Uh, and then, you know, when he when he says that, some of the other nobles start talking again. Uh, you know, and again, it comes back to, um, they are outlaws. They're not outlaws. The vanishing has not been ended. In fact, it's gotten worse. What have they done about it? Uh, and there's a lot of that conversation going on. Uh, and Bran just 
like he's listening to it and he's like holding his head and he's like oh, this task never should have been assigned to me this was always Ephelus's job well, uh, none of them understand truly understand what this is that we're fighting against and what we're trying to do and it's not yeah, it's true it's not their burden they have no need or desire to understand it other than knowing whether it's been stopped or not but we are going to have a lot of work to do very soon so the sooner things get under control here the better off we'll be and we need to find Ephelus well the last I know he was apparently near Red Tree uh, and Rowan and Baron and hey Wigbit, yeah, you know Red Tree is like a, a small, you know, you know, ten house village that's you know north in the in the Vastwood. Um, it's not, you know, not anything that would show up on a map necessarily, but it's just like a you know a spot that's not too far north of the city. That's that's the last time. I heard of him. Have you tried, uh, like, magically trying to find him? However, that works. I did it. I feel like did I try? You asked Alar to find him, and what? And it was like no response, right? Alar, yeah. Alar said, "If if he's if he's alive, he's not on this plane," is what Alar said. Yeah. Or he's dead. That's what Alar said. Yeah, I'll share that. <sighs> oh. Well, that's not good. Well, if we don't hear from him before, wait, is it, is it night now? I don't remember what time it is. It's morning. It's, morning. it's, uh, it's, it's probably like morning. Okay. 10 o'clock in the morning by now. <laughs> yeah. Well, we need to, as we've said, we need to rest. And if we don't hear anything from him, then I suppose maybe we'll be seeing if we can pick up the trail in the Vastwood. But what a... And what are we supposed to do about this? Says Kiss. And she's clearly pointing to the Dead King. I thought that's... I thought that's what you nobles do. It is. And right now, the ones who are... The, the evidence points to the people that are right in front of us. You wish to arrest me? It doesn't point to us unless you choose to ignore the facts of the matter with King Celsus. And she goes to say something, and then Tatiana says, Kiss, give over. Enough of this. And she, uh, she straightens herself up. Uh, and you can tell as you're looking at her, uh, she's her, like she's been crying uh <laughs> just the one thing the Farron missed a while ago um but she's oh. been like <laughs> oh. yeah, the worst. Tatiana's crying. <laughs> yeah okay. tatiana's had tears in her eyes and like you can tell like i mean you know her eyes are red and i mean she's like the average person could tell like, like somebody anyone. with a soul <laughs> right. like right. their yeah. own soul right. not other right. souls right. their right. own right. soul could tell. Right. Right. that would allow dc at that <laughs> it was a four <laughs> <laughs> the pharaoh's like, touch this part. Touch this. See how squishy it is? See? <laughs> There's tears dripping on his hands. Why are my yeah. hands getting wet? He's like, oh, why are my hands? I must be sweat. It's been a long oh, morning. Man, yeah. I wash my hands in these tears. <laughs> nothing, gets, nothing else gets in quite as clean. <laughs> she, uh, yeah, she, she straightens up and she, so. I do not believe you, you are guilty of any of these crimes, but nevertheless, there will be a lot of people that will be hard to convince of that. You did, whatever your reasons, assault the castle. You did, you are, if your words are correct, responsible for the deaths of many soldiers. And I do dare say, not all of them were Valeus' as soldiers. This is so. These are 
crimes, regardless of your intention. Well, then it, what is, you... it is one of those things that once the fighting battle looks like a brand in the city subsides and some order is restored there will be calls for justice better find the tiger and if there is a tiger as you say and yes we should leave them less then But what if they need us? They can't need us for now. They can need us later, but they can't need us for now. We're in a pretty rough spot. Right now, they'll have to hate us. But there can uh, and the Farron looks. Um, Kazmir in the eye and says, There can be no. Sorry, what's her name? Kiz? Kiz, yeah. Kiz sorry. Right. They're overlap. Yeah, yeah. Kiz um, Elizabeth, yeah. Yeah. Um, he looks her in the eye and says, There can be no rumor spread of us having killed the king, for it is a lie and it will harm our ability to come back and protect the city should we need to. I can do nothing of rumors spreading in the city. I'm sure that you can begin them spreading. People saw us enter the castle. Nothing can stop that now. That's true, but just finish yeah. the rebellion. I, 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 I see you, Suf. I see Suf. I see you. Keep keep going. Then it, it's okay. fine. Nothing needs can to be adjusted. You can still hear everybody. Yeah, I hear everything. I just all right. No cool. video. All right. Roll towards going good. Yeah. Good night. <laughs> um, she. <laughs> She doesn't say anything, um, but Alexander <laughs> nods his head at what Wigbit just said. Um, and again, he's, he's kind of that, got a resigned look. Um, and uh, I think it's in the prophecy. What's that? Um... Well, somebody, it says, <laughs> what? What? So when you, when you say prophecy, Kish just throws her hands up again, like, oh. <laughs> what what sedition? Somebody told me that's a, like a rebellion. I never heard that word before. Yes, it's in there, right next to this part. It's kind of interesting. Uh, how does a moon burn? Do you guys see Milan on fire? Fortunately, no. Wait, oh, he was on fire for a little, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah. He was, yeah, no, he was on fire for a little bit. Yeah, the false, the false king was just like hands out burning him. Yeah, yep. that's right. Yep, but we Wonder. put him out. I <laughs> is he is he living or dead? He's, he's living. Alive. He's living. Yeah, he's unconscious. Um, so we did actually. It. Uh, Victory, we saved him. Yeah, and I guess I guess Radimir at some point would come over to him and um, you know, and maybe Gus too would like kneel down and. You know, um, and just you know, essentially say he needs rest. You know, he's he's unconscious, he's alive. He just needs rest. Um, he's been his body has been, he's been through a lot, and his body's been through a lot. Um, so a crescent blue streak of moon. Why? How can the blue remain in darkness? So the blue has to survive we did that i think we did outlast the darkness yeah ow how does a moon burn it's because it's from a tiger moon doesn't burn dressed Put up the like moon out <laughs> and then what sedition i think this is it it's 
<laughs> and, and, and do you say that? Yeah. Oh, oh I have my papers out. I'm reading yeah. it. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Reading a little prophecy. And so Kit says, it sounds like you are admitting to your own sedition. Uh, I mean, your own guilt. Well, against whom? I don't say whom. Against who? <laughs> uh, like, the real king or the fake king? I mean, Bran just admitted he's been out of it for like a week. He and she that. rolls her eyes. She rolls her eyes at Bran. And he just smirks. I mean, I'll put my hat on and I look like a baker. Do you believe that I'm a baker? <laughs> I thought you changed back. I did. But now no, I, I threw back on, on just now. Right now. Oh, you, oh, you go back to being a baker again? <laughs> I mean, it's a pretty easy trick. Take the hat off. She doesn't say anything. Our intent in coming here was to do what's right for this kingdom. And so now what you have to decide is what you're going to tell the people of this kingdom. Are you going to tell them that the five people, the five of us, who are doing everything we can to stop everyone from being afflicted with the vanishing? Are you going to tell them that we are to blame, that we're traitors, that our lives are forfeit? Or are you going to wait and, to, and trying to keep things calm here, restore order, while we go do what we need to do and unravel everything that's happened in the last two hours, five days? That's what you have to decide. But... Alexandra says, uh, I think that's prudent, what you're saying. And he looks over at Kiss, looks over at some of the others, and, says, and he looks directly at Kineas and says, um, we will handle things here. But I do believe the Farron is correct. I do not know if it's wise if you stay in the city right now. There are limits to what we can't control. It seems like our path is taking us into the Vastwood anyway. So perhaps... Perhaps these two things conveniently line up. But what about... Belias's troops, or do you need help with them? I think getting them out. I think Bran can handle that. Oh yeah, we'll. We're ready. Yeah. <laughs> He's yeah. still standing there, like just yeah. beat up. Oh. And just <laughs> on his the dude's got it. I'm not worried. One captain, bit. <laughs> captain, Admiral, Admiral, what is it? Admiral Storm, right? Admiral Captain, captain Talon. Talon. Captain Talon looked yeah. pretty rough. <laughs> captain Talon is fine. He survived. That battle that is way above anything that he should be involved in. So, did he just level up? He just needs to sleep. He will be yeah. fine. Yeah, he when he wakes up later, like he's gonna, level five at yeah, least. He's gonna gain many levels. <laughs> That's Where true. Yeah, path lead to survive the day. Yeah. Um, and like Brand even like says, and if we uh can perhaps get a little assistance and he turns around and looks at Canaeus with his little small group of henchmen there might be able to do a little better for this city and Canaeus is rather indignant uh at you know but after a moment he kind of and he nods his head and I'll give everybody an insight check on Canaeus here Oh, I guess I need to roll a die too. My character sheet is not loading well. Yeah. 
There we go. Baron won't pay attention to the poor woman crying, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, Ty goes to the... Well, let's... He's not actually bluffing, but if it was like a charisma... If, if your insight matched so my him, bluff... You would. Yeah, it depends bluff, on which one you, you consider... <laughs> Because it's like perception. Yeah, which one's right? the attack? It's like perception right. trying to see stealth. Like if the perception meets the number. Yeah. You... And he's not making a bluff, but let's say, let's just say, I'm using a bluff skill. He's using bluff, and he got a 14. So Grim rolled a 14 on his insight. Right, but is that my defense against his bluff or my attack against his bluff? I don't know. <laughs> right? Insight attacks bluff. Yeah, because you're like trying or to does... see. Th- yeah. Perception attacks stealth, insight attacks bluff. Like you're trying to well, see through the, the lie. But bluff is attacking insight. You're trying <laughs> to mean, bluff past the, their defense of you reading them. I mean, I guess you bluff could say that about like everything in the game. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, don't, don't ruin Ty, everything. Stop ruining Ty everything. Ty goes to the storyteller's <laughs> decision. All right, I'll give it to you then. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll give it to you this time. If it comes up again next time, we'll try to figure it out then. But, okay. Uh, um. So he nods his head as in, yes, uh, that's, that is, that does sound like something that needs to happen. Um, but there's a hint of, and like, y'all have at least seen and heard enough of Canaeus to know, uh, there was that hint of how can I use this to my advantage? Like, yeah. Okay. Uh, I will, uh, sorry, I had to plug in. There we go. This is a, yes. I will gather my henchmen and I will assist in the taking back of the city because there's political gain in it for me. And granted, he's a noble and that's what nobles do. So that's not completely surprising, but um, you definitely detected that when he at first was like mm-hmm. indignant and then he was kind of like, wait a minute. Hmm. Maybe I can use this to my advantage. That's fine. Was he a <laughs> brother or a cousin? What was he? Uh Canaeus is a cousin, a distant cousin of the king, yes. Oh. Yeah, so he's got some royal blood. It's like if he wants to do all that, whatever. Do your thing. Yeah. yeah. He's the one that I killed the second most in this room. <laughs> and actually. Let me see if Alexandru knew Ah, Alexandru, not paying attention. Yeah, he's probably trying to tell Kiss to relax. But so, if, I mean, if things go real bad, well, like Canaeus turn kills her. Yeah, like if Canaeus <laughs> ends up on the throne and like it's real bad, we can just do another coup. <laughs> they've got a lot less troops at this point. All successive coups will be way easier. They'll be way no, easier. The, um, the troops that are left are scared to death of us. Uh, they should if, be. They, if they saw you, then yeah, you could say they're probably uh, either frightened or, at the very least, uh, intimidated. Uh, or even just the cloud of darkness. <laughs> like, cloud of darkness starts rolling through, and there's a bunch of guys that would be like, Right, nope. right. No, we did that. And it didn't you're going to know about that real quick. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so, Brand says, All right. That looks like we have a plan uh he turns back and looks at y'all and says thanks i guess you are welcome you're welcome i what no we don't have time right now one day hopefully (laughs) if we can remember it all and love to hear about Wow, everything, but yeah, right, right now, Captain, where are you? All right, <sighs> and he like turns around, and like he starts to walk, and then he turns back around and says, "If Ephelus is still alive, try to keep him that way." Yeah, he, uh, he doesn't. He can be a little. Well, he's got a. 
he's a, he's good. He's good. He's he's good. He just he needs to he needs to be alive. Sweet uh, him. We'll find and, him. Uh, it's good anyway. to have you back, Brandon. Don't be careful. Yeah. Mind is a steel trap. Right. Me too. Except for that time, it wasn't. All right. Anyway, you, you Corona? That's you. Come on, Corona. Keep, keep the helmet on, so I can't get in there. <laughs> As you say that, he's like, "Yep, that's a good idea." He's like, <laughs> he's, and like he starts, he points at uh, Kinesis men or Kinesis people, and it's like, "You, Corona and Kaya, yeah, come on, come on." And he, like he's starting to order them. And Kinesis is looking at him like, you don't order my train. And he's just completely ignoring Kinesis. Like, come on, follow me. Follow me. You're Kuroda. You look like you know how to use a sword, Captain. Come on. Kuro yeah. Captain <laughs> Kuroda. Captain Kuroda. <laughs> and Kaya looks over at him like, excuse me, I did all the work in this battle. <laughs> yeah, Ka Kaya. Kuroda just like knocked out a few people. Kaya. Yeah. Kaya should have a rank. Uh a pretty yeah. good, a pretty good rank. Yeah, yeah. Neville Overin should get some credit here. So, sure. yeah, I, I was actually what? thinking Neville about Everin this. Like... Didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, half Ephelis did just fine. Just wandered around, just very wandered useful. around over there. <laughs> now there was, there were some shatters and some heels. Yeah. yeah, I didn't hear any of that. It got really loud. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was busy. Yeah, I, I would definitely say uh, Evil Everin you know may have been the most important uh npc of that battle and i think kaya was probably the uh the runner-up <laughs> as far as npcs and i think yeah, Bandana 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 Chelsea Bandana won, Bandana the, Chelsea. won the lvp the least yeah. valuable <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> but somehow she funny got a promotion she was uh, she was quite funny <laughs> what? and let's also not forget the heroics of cory the razor yeah, that's true. Yes, Corey will get a, he, a posthumous, uh, posthumous promotion. He killed yeah. a bunch of dudes, and then he charged right at the big, like there's this big bad guy down there. Yeah, you know, and Corey just stepped right up to him. Got a light, not didn't afraid. Get, didn't Corey get like ripped in half. Yeah, you know, fear is an important survival instinct. <laughs> well, he oh, knew he oh, couldn't oh. let everyone else down. Like. Yeah, I wouldn't say Corey got. Uh, Hingorn was the one who got like kind of blown in half, but oh, okay. Corey right. just got hit by a lightning bolt and just died. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So oh, his yeah. body is just got smoldering it. over there. Just right. a lightning bolt, got it. Yeah, yeah, just a lightning bolt. Yeah, merely, merely. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, yeah. So he leaves with like so him, and I'm not gonna move them all. But all him and all the soldiers have like, you know, left. Uh, and then, uh. Radimir and Janela go with him. Uh, especially like when it's mentioned the Guild of Light are like, you know, essentially leading the, the fight. They they go with him. Um so so they yeah, they they've exited. Erican stays here. Uh and he's kinda looking at you guys. Like uh plus Erican can't keep up with how fast Bran is walking right now. So he's like, ah the hell with that. I can't do that right now. So um But yeah, so he's um, but he's and so yeah, but so the nobles are still left. Um, Y'all are left. Um, Erican is here, and of course Milan and, and Ning are still, you know, unconscious. Is there a place where we can get some rest, Alexandra, before we leave? A library uh, would be safe for us. We should probably leave. And then rest. We could, I mean, we could potentially find you somewhere in the castle to rest, but I, I don't know. We need Milan to get up too. We should probably rest outside the city walls <laughs> and not have to try to leave later. It's a lot that can go wrong between here and there. Have a means of faster travel? Not right now. No. Man, this, I seem to be like a spell slot short. 
<laughs> Gus, got anything for us? <laughs> Gus, you want to fly us all out of here, man? Come on. Come on, buddy. How, how hard a bunch of elk? We'll ride them out. How hard would it be to... I don't know what his spell slots are for making y'all eagles or turning summoning eagles y'all can fly out of here on or yeah to, I think you can do that right that sounds like a thing you can do I don't know yeah I just uh, I'm sure he can I don't know how how that works oh boy usually he summons them and they just attack everything so that's true <laughs> no way I rode around on him when he was an eagle <laughs> Yeah. I mean, he was a giant vulture, and I rode around on him because he doesn't want to help my brand at all under any circumstances. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what is it? Let's see. Druid spells. Conjure. There's conjure animals. Yeah, that's what he's been it's a using. Level. And then he can upcast oh, it yeah, potentially. Well, left at this point. He has a lot of spell slots, though. Anyways, yeah. if, he, if we could just rest here, he could... Rest in this hallway behind the secret uh, door? Well, where does the hallway go? Oh. Is there a secret Where does room? this hallway go? Although, I will say that we do have... Currently, we have the advantage of chaos. Yeah. Help us get out of the city. I think that we could just leave right now. Like, we could just walk out. Just That's sling right. Milan over our shoulder and go. Is Milan coming with us? I don't think yeah. that's safe. I'm right. not letting him out of my sight. He's in the prophecy, man. Right. Yeah, every, <laughs> single, every single person in the prophecy that we keep with us stays because safe. Yep. We're gonna, uh, it works out every time. Every <laughs> time. time. Oma's fine. More or she less. She played her part. Right. <laughs> but she's alive. Or she well, was. She might be dead now in the Vastwood. We'll find out did, when we get there. He didn't need to die. Mulan, to die. Mulan's <laughs> prophecy has been fulfilled so far. And we've kept him alive. So maybe we should leave him. No, no. He here. has to survive. In, in prison? He has to outlast the darkness. Prison would be safer than. Um, here? The, the tiger might come back and take over again. He's. I got. I'm. I'm staying with him, Elon. I think. I don't think that bringing him into danger is the right idea. And he, he's never. He's had already. Him. He's never. He's had already. Him. He's already in danger. Whether or not we bring him. This is so. Might but as well bring had, him into yeah. better dangers. At least if he's near us, we know what's going on with him. And. I think we've seen he's handy in a fight. He, he can is. fight too, right? Yeah, he can. <laughs> he's got monk he's levels. Monk. I mean, he's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he's, a, he's a level 20 monk. Why are we not bringing him? Yeah, we got. We should definitely bring him. <laughs> we need a high level NPC. A right? level 20 on. monk? Shit. Yeah, yeah me, please bring him. Me and and um, our drow friend. <laughs> oh, man. What's oh, her she's name? She's awesome. Kayleth. Caleb. Yeah. She was great. Uh, she would be useful to have around. Yeah. Yeah, she would. Did yeah. Did Just Seb go back to the underdark. Back on? We need Seb. No. <laughs> yeah. Did anybody see a people. robot walking around here doing that? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> anybody hear about I don't know. The list of Josh's characters. Yeah, anybody seen a metal guy? <laughs> Did anyone step out of a portal with some crossbows? <laughs> yeah. You could use any of those guys. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Erican says, uh, I mean, I could look after him for you. I don't move real swiftly, but I understand if you want to keep him under your, under your watch. I think we need to talk to him though. Yeah. And we would, we do need to talk to him. And also we can, if we can keep him out of the same predicament we'd be in if we stayed so much the better for now, probably. It's fair. I appreciate it, though, Eric. You've done a lot. So, well, 
So I think Gus can conjure eagles. I think. Yeah, or like what? What CR are giant eagles? Uh, so they're one. So maybe he can't do that because I think it's is it a quarter? He can summon. He can summon two ones. Two ones. He can unless he's got a fifth level slot, in which case he can summon four ones. He can. He could become another. And he could become another, another after a short rest. rest. I, I think, think he's, he's out, out of. Uh, he's, he's out, out of wild, wild shapes. shapes. There's so, us. right. So, if you half of us are eagles, <laughs> I don't think he's turning us into. I know into huh? eagles. That'd be cool, though. <laughs> sure, Gus says I have the spell slot. Yeah. If you want, if that's, if that's the way we want to go. Look, another fifth level. When you really need to get out of somewhere, yeah, you just gotta get giant eagles to show up. Right. Right. Exactly. I mean... <laughs> Duh. Oh, it always works. Yeah. 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 Um, I mean, the other thing he can do is he can summon riding horses because they're a quarter, and I mean they're yeah. you know, so he can summon, summon extra. Those. Yeah. And I I think that right now things have happened so fast. I mean, how we've been here for twenty minutes, half an hour. Yeah. Actually, I mean, horses might be less conspicuous than like flying out of here on an eagle. Yes. Yeah. And we'd be able to stop by the library first. What? Mm, what? Well, we could just go. <laughs> these are these are all facts. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the library. Yeah, look, I don't know if we're going to be doing a lot of reading <laughs> on this trip. I don't. Unless you got <laughs> something overdue that you need to get back there, like. And maybe just pay the fine. Like, here, I have a bunch of money. You can just, <laughs> you can just pay the fee on it. We'll worry about it later. <laughs> uh, just drop three gold on the counter. Look, yeah. I should cover it. <laughs> Whatever books he's library. got out, it's, don't worry about it. We got blood all over him. It's, relay you know, information <laughs> to Elithia. What'd you say? Relay we need to relay information to Aldithium. It'll help us. Aldithia? The librarian? In the library? Is she like... You want to go talk to the librarian? Society of Librarians or something? She'll get the... What will she do? In the city? Mm -hmm. What will she do? She'll be able to speak for us while we're away. I don't not... trust people's. Do you trust them to listen to the librarian about us? <laughs> Maybe we can send her a message and... We'll send her a message. <laughs> Eric says, uh, I can take a message to your Librarian. So then, um, the Farron will start writing one out. Right. And by, and like by this point, the nobles have gone to, uh, like <laughs> Tatiana, uh, is, you know, kind of working on trying to like figure out how to do something with the king's body. Uh, there's conversation, not not loud conversation, but conversation among them about the next their next steps. Um, and what to do with, you know, this, that, and the other, um, you know, and clearly, clearly the conversation as you can tell is about the King, like, you know, so, you know, I mean, I clearly like resurrection is, is being brought up in some, you know, some parts and then, uh, you know, the, that conversation about that's powerful magic that requires certain components that, uh, you know, it's, they're, they're, they're not easy to find. Um, you know, so, I mean, that, that seems to be a convenient excuse for the people who are against it, but I mean, that's, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's excuses are not always excuses. Sometimes excuses are reasons too. Um, so there, you know, uh, that's, that's how the conversation is going. Um, and yeah, and, and they're, you know, 
Alexander has kind of got one ear open for them, but then he's also still like listening to what y'all are doing. Um, so, you know, and at, at some point, um, Dagnal brings over Ning's body uh, to Erican. Um, and Erican's like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll help her out. Uh, and then, you know, do you hear Erican say, um, uh, I overheard in the, the chaos of the battle, uh, the, the young nobleman down there, he, uh, he seemed to be enraged by something and he ran at the, uh, well, at that, at that, that fella that cast lightning and yeah uh no ideas and he <laughs> and uh and Dagnell says yes uh young hignorn's uh brother uh went off with the the red shields several months ago and well <laughs> and of course he's standing on the other side of the throne room and he's like i don't know what would have enraged him so but that was his brother's name that he yelled out before he attacked that the 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 Mala Mala Ma, Molly Molly Dias. The Molly Dias of Franz or Blue. This is no small enemy that would have walked in here. That was the most dangerous creature that may have ever walked into this room. Dagnall just nods. I mean, he's not, you know, it's not a, it's not necessarily an agreement or a disagreement. It's just a, it's a nod of, okay. Um, you know, oh, <laughs> the previous five minutes, there's a lot of crazy shit going on in here. So uh, I'm not going to say you're right or wrong. Uh, you know, um, he says, I'm not sure what, uh, what would have, you know, caused that to happen. Um, and then like, you know, it, there's a you know somebody goes over and they look at where Hangorn's body has been blown into bits and there's a you know there's there's still a piece of that there's an arm and there's like half of a, a red shield like a red buckle oh. attached to the arm uh, and um, you know they say uh, well you know I don't know what but there's a there's a the arm has like a, a essentially a tattoo on it, uh, and I don't know if that was a, I don't know if he thought that was his brother or not, but you know his brother hasn't been seen for several months, so chasing after this uh, this, this this vanishing that, well, he just dangles the con the end of the sentence there. Um, hmm. He says, uh, but we'll, uh, that's, that's for us to, to handle with his house. Uh, Dagnell kind of looks at all of you and says, uh, I can appreciate what you're trying to do. I, I can't say if I agree or know if you're going about it the right way, but You've set upon this path now, it appears, and I wish you fortune, whatever that looks like for you. We often wonder if we are doing the right thing as well. We have been put on this path, and now we travel it. We are doing everything that we can. I hope so. We are. And I hope it's for the right. I hope it's for the right reasons. Not to die. We have all rejected death at this point to continue on this path. Sometimes death is not the worst thing. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Your best friend. Your best friend. <laughs> the parent looks at him knowingly. <laughs> so, 
we will hopefully have some order restored by the time you've returned and hopefully you will have good news when you return hopefully we'll return <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't laugh but where does this path lead us First into the basswood, I suppose. No, I mean, literally, where does this path lead us? Oh. <laughs> literally, uh, into the basswood. <laughs> oh, that path. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is a hallway that, like, it, I mean, Alexander will tell you, like, this is a hallway that connects eventually to, like, the, the, the royal chambers. Uh, mm -hmm. It was sort of a, and it, it it goes on for a little bit, but there's a an adjoining hallway that's also hidden behind a, a, a hidden door that connects to the king's chambers. Um, that way he could get to the the throne room, the throne, you know, easier for when there's a call for whatever. And then, so uh, uh, you're saying we could have rested in the king's bed. Could, yeah, we could just go hang out in his bedroom. Wait, what? That's you could have what? I don't want to take a nap in the king's bed. No, don't do that. <laughs> That's not good. He's not gonna use it. Uh, He's dead. Uh, yeah, I think, I think it's a bad look. Let, let me be say King Wake bit. Just yeah. say it's a bad look. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wigbit's never wanted to sleep in his bed in his life, and he's like, "Wait, I can sleep in the king's bed? There uh, we go." Beds are <laughs> gross, but I, that's basically being a king. <laughs> We need to go the other way. <laughs> Not the into way. the king's chamber. Oh, but... Don't way. you want to see it? Uh, no. Vale, vale would have been with you. <laughs> <laughs> For the same reason. For the exact uh -huh. same reason. Exact same reason. He'd climb under the bed and I want to steal there. some... The king's, one of the king's loincloths. <laughs> <laughs> that wig, I love that wig bit. Just assumes everybody wears the linen claws in the king. <laughs> Clearly, it must have the nicest. Right. There other people just wear, you know, stuff over their loin Yeah, clothes. yeah. I want people to see there. Um, well, and that... wearing too much clothes. <laughs> and then the nobles start like covering the king's body, um, and there's a momentary discussion of like, we should have servants do this. <laughs> and then the more reasonable of them, like um, if the servants find out the King is dead, then how long do you think that's going to take to spread? You know, it's probably already old news anyway, but that's not the best look for this. Uh, and so then there's some bickering about, I'm not touching the King's body. And then there's, you know, there's, there's some of that going on, but eventually they all say, look, this is what we have to do. Let's get this body and wrap it up and, um, let's take it to the king's chambers and we'll, you know, figure out what to do from there. So that, you know, there, there, you know, not the cliche, the nobles, but I can't help cliching the nobles. Yes. They, they do a whole lot of bickering about everything. Uh, and there's clearly like at least two factions here, uh, that regularly side with each other against the other faction uh and and now that like all the crisis has for the moment subsided at least the now they've kind of fallen right back into their same old uh you know bickering bickering uh, side bureaucracy <laughs> bureaucracy yep 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 so yeah so that's that's you know so um so yeah that i mean at this point it's it's erican and you milan's unconscious uh and ning and then you know alexandru is kind of getting them moving up the hallway so he's you know uh he'll turn around you know as they're moving and say um good luck don't don't prove us wrong this is a gamble that if we're wrong it won't just be your head on the chopping block well, we understand. he kind of does that <laughs> yeah he says, uh, you may be able to take out an army, but I think those days are behind me. Uh, turns around and follows the squabbling nobles up the hallway. 
Wait a bit. Yeah? What do you have to do to make that hat work? Uh, put it on. And, like, do you, you want to use it? No, I was just thinking if... I mean, we don't know everything that's going on in the city, and there may be some eyes on us on the way out that we wouldn't want to recognize Melan. Well, we're not part of the prophecy, but he is. And just in case right. anyone notices our leaving, be better um, off if they don't know he's with us, I think. So you, got, you do have to attune to it. Yeah, you gotta spend some time with it. Well, Conscious, let's, probably. Let's find something we can cover him up with then, at least. I mean, a regular hat would cover his hair. Yeah, we can just get like a helm off one of these other I mean, bodies. I could put it. There's a lot of bodies in here. We can find some Plenty stuff. Plenty of loose armor. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I want to yeah. like disguise the hat'll, the disguise hat'll go him. on his head, but yeah. it's a silly looking hat. Yeah. I just want to disguise him before we go, so it's not obvious that we're who we have with like us. Like the blue haired guy. Yeah. yeah. He's kind of noticeable. Yeah. The blue hair and the moon thing and the. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of stand out. Better not take any chances. It's true. The Farron will put his hood up also. Are we riding out or do we fly? I, I can't, I don't remember what we're riding or horsing it. Riding or horsing it and then riding yeah. out the. Yep. And the Farron has finished writing a letter and then okay. hands that to Eric and. Aldithia is her name? Aldithia, yes. And I find her where? At the library. Which library? Which library is it? <laughs> is there more than one? If you say if you say library in the North Ward, you know, All that'll right. you know, and a little direction, he'll he'll say, okay, I'll I'll find it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I know we had a library. All right. Makes sense, I guess. Do what? I didn't even know we had a library. I got a couple libraries in there's, the city. Is there a South Ward library? There's no. Hey. There's no library in the South Ward. We got a small bookstore somewhere, but uh, yeah. no one knows how to read. Yeah, like... so, well, I'll uh, I'll get this to her. Um, I'll see to Ning. Thank you for everything you've done, Eric. Well, I've lost a few people that I cared about to the vanishing, so I've not given up on what you're trying to do. I'm not sure I understand how you're doing it, but... And I don't understand. <laughs> he looks right at the Farron. Well, I just don't understand, but... Uh, well, things are frequently unclear, but we will see it done. We will, we will do what we can and more than we thought capable. All right, well, got a little walking to do, so he like, picks up Ning's body. Uh, hopefully she'll come to in a little bit and I'll Take care of her as best I can, and he looks at her again. Y'all just, is she just, she was just a prisoner that you freed from the jails, from the, from the prison? Yes. Yes. I mean, she looks like she's been worked over a little bit. She probably has. All right. Well, I'll uh, I'll find a place to get her back to health and explain to her that she's uh she's been freed by the kings, or I don't know. Anyway, we'll figure it out. <laughs> find out why she was arrested, if you can. Specifically. All right. <laughs> This is like treason. 
she may try to like slit my throat when I'm not looking. Like that's why she's actually in the the dungeon. Or I doubt it. That seems uh, unlikely. All right, but caution. <laughs> he, he does. He actually just chuckles. He's like, huh, "All right." No, I would guess that no one that was in the dungeon truly really deserved it. But yes, you should be careful. Wait. Poor Farlamir. Hold on. Hold on a second. What? You guys remember the the message we got? Um about the distractions, right, with, like, the... Um... The Guardians were going to cause a distraction and return the Dragonhead statue, and we would need to keep it safe from then on. Right, we kind of thought maybe they would be here, and it didn't happen. Right. Then they said, save her. Is that save like... her? Am I, am I, can I, am I, did I find my notes correct? I wrote it down. It says, save her. I don't know, I'm going to look back my specific <laughs> notes, too. <laughs> like, it's not her, is it? Like, is she important? And what was the bit about third ring of darkness? I don't remember. <laughs> That's that's how we got here, right? Yeah. Third Ring of Darkness. That's yeah. what. Yeah, that was your assumption. Yes. Third Vorla is like our world. Yeah. Age, world, time, place. Yes. Uh, yeah. So save it when it reappears. They will create a distraction, and save her. Who's her? Uh, save it. Not it. save. Save it. All right. Yeah. Done. Yeah. We don't need her. All right. She's, no, nobody. she's, she's not in it. She's nobody. She's a person. Just look. Oh, let me let, me let me make sure there wasn't another save. Somebody uh, did. I just came across where it said save it. Let me make sure there wasn't another. Yeah, that was the dragon head statue. They're gonna get the statue back for us, and then we just need to hold on to it instead of giving it away to a goddess of nature. Oh. No, there actually was a save her as well. There was a save it and a save her. Mm -hmm. That is right. Mm. Sorry. You are correct. You take good notes, Wigbit. <laughs> well, I left, I left out the save it. I thought they were the same thing. <laughs> well, that no, was I, a given. I went yeah. to the save it and ignored the save her. Yeah, there, there, was, a, there was a save her piece in there. Uh, I mean, it's not her, right? Like, who is she? Her could still be Geraldo. Not giving up on her. You said you said that she was not dead when she was pulled into the um portal. No, but her brain was gone. The stone that does not break? Yeah, well, maybe. Maybe. Maybe it is Oma needs saving again. A lot of hers. There is a vast world of hers. Half of the world. Mm. I mean, I don't know. Does this world, do we know? I don't know. <laughs> do we know what? What's the percentage what, male to percentage female ratio? Oh. <laughs> but you I think Taking stats on that, yeah. You better figure that out. Yeah. Somebody better start doing a census. <laughs> census reading, yeah. <laughs> now like, not the time to do a census. I feel like Ephelos would be all about a census. That seems like right up his alley. <laughs> he likes taking notes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think you would hate that. Just like showing off his cool pen. When things settle down a little bit, maybe he'll. His burning notebook, you mean? He'll do a census. Right. Yeah. He just likes showing that off. I bet he's not even, he's just doing doodles in there. <laughs> not even good ones, just like stick figures. Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Eric is like starting to limp out with Ning, and he, but he's like, so am I taking her with me or is she going with you? 
Make sure she's safe. I will do everything within my power. That's all that we can ask. Thanks. Do you need money? <laughs> I, have Rowan, a, I have a lot. Rowan has a lot. I have a lot. <laughs> you, need, you need some money? Oh my god. The, the Adventurers uh, Guild League. Guild. The Adventurers Guild is... We, we're... we're we do, we do, we are okay. Save your money for uh, <clears throat> retirement. That don't like so. I got plans. I got plans for this nest egg <laughs> someday. <laughs> You'll see. So he leaves. All right. Shall we leave? I think it's time. We should. Gus, get those horses. <laughs> We're gonna ride them right out of the king's stream. <laughs> yep, just straight out of the castle. There you go. That's how you. Yeah. Get, that's how you make an exit. <laughs> I feel like we should be showing Neelan off. Like, no, no. Oh. I mean, that's what we came for, nope. right? Like, absolutely, Neelan. That's the show opposite. Yeah. That's the opposite of what we should do. No, we should just be like, yeah, like, hey, we did everybody, it. the guy, the. The guy that's in the prophecy that you want, so you can set him on fire. We got him. Uh, I think we need to. I think we're gonna keep the helmet on him. Keep him under wraps. <laughs> Somebody's got a reputation. Like our rep, yeah. <laughs> our reputation is like we're all leaving and we're taking this other fugitive with us. <laughs> exactly. By the way, that's not King's good. dead. Yeah, we didn't do it. We swear. That's not. Oh, good. I mean, uh, we just want to. I think we just want to lay low. We want to lay low for a little while. We're gonna be seen riding out on our horses. Just saying, we should look successful. At least. Nah, that's chaotic. <laughs> We're gonna use the chaos. <laughs> Embrace the chaos. We're not. Like we're not like. Racing out on the horses, we're just yeah, walking we're not, them out. Yeah, we're not gonna be like just trotting. We, we, we probably should summon them like outside. Yeah, we're not doing like a parade. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll get to the gates first. I think to be <laughs> like the gates of the if castle. There's, if there's some Valais troops around, yeah, the castle. I'm on E right now, so I'd really like to fill up. Right, like just one. Take a nap in the king's bedroom. That's not the E that I'm on. I have no temporary hit points. Look, man. <laughs> Kill one person. We're trying, look, we're trying to get out of the city. And Farron's like, <laughs> like, I gotta stop at the library. I gotta eat a guy's soul. Uh, what else do I gotta do on the way out? <laughs> like, no, no, we're just, we're leaving. <laughs> we're gonna go rest. We're gonna go camp out somewhere. We're gonna sleep. But I'm just saying, like, if there is one last group around... No, we're we're trying to keep the exit on the on the down low, yeah. like super down low. Compared like, to like that, that family member who says like we need to leave at eight, and he's like, yeah, we'll leave at eight, and you leave the house at eight, but you make seven stops before you ever get out of town. <laughs> 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 I gotta stop at the drugstore, I gotta stop at the grocery store, and I need to stop. <laughs> no, no, we're leaving. Go to the bathroom now because we're not pulling over. <laughs> <laughs> How long is the ride to this uh, red tree? Uh, it's less than a. I mean, it's less than a day. I mean, you think it's you could get there mm -hmm. like riding in a, just a few hours. Good deal. So, um, especially magical horses that don't get tired. Right. Yeah, they are fake creatures. They are fake creatures. Yeah. Perfect. So they'll fake ride. Right. Yeah. So yeah. the final plan is that we're gonna leave the castle. When we get outside the castle, we're gonna summon the horses and ride out. Yep. Yeah. I'm trying to like stick to the I mean go I think we're we just wanna like Yeah, we wanna make like the well, nearest we can walk to a gate and then yeah. ride from the gate we're instead of trying to too. ride through the city. Yeah, just go to the nearest gate, north gate. Right. Yeah. Because that's yeah. the way we want to go anyway. Also mm -hmm. true. So just try to keep, you know, go out of the castle, 
uh, keep to like, you know, don't go walk, on the main roads. Walk to the Dullhouse River, and then ride from there. We're gonna be seen. Yeah, but that's why we're gonna like keep, you know, we're not gonna go we'll walking walk down like Queensway or anything like that. We're just gonna go cut through, you know, cut through between buildings, kind of stay off the road keep an eye out like move when people aren't there or if like while well, people are distracted and try to keep it right keep it kind of quiet till we get to the gate slip out the north gate just five dudes and carrying a dead on. body yep and Grim's keep an eye out for sorry <laughs> yep um but not no horses yet right no right okay not so you're gonna walk to, the, walk to the gate get out the gate and then get the horses once you're okay okay yeah um, I mean, when you leave the, the, uh, you know, the palace, um, the evidence of the fight is still there, but obviously there's been some doing their best, to with whoever's here that's in the, the business of like cleaning up after a big fight. Um, but you can tell as you come out that there's fighting going on in the city. I mean, it's, you know, um, again, you know, the castle sits sort of above the city a little bit, like it rolls down. And I mean, you can, you can hear it, um, that there is, you know, there's, there's fighting, you can see smoke rising, um, you know, in several places, um, and leaving the palace, leaving the castle is pretty easy, uh, because there are very few troops that are actually still here. Um, there are some that are at the gate, but when you come out, they turn around and they look at you and they can, they, then they, they look at each other with that look of, okay. Uh, and then like, you know, your insights tell them that like, oh, that's the one that the Admiral spoke about. Those are the ones the Admiral spoke about. Uh, and so they, you know, they, they, they don't accost you or anything as you go to leave. Um, they're still trying to work on getting the gate back because <laughs> it was it was battered down and pushed down and slammed you know slammed up it had some damage it wasn't completely torn down but um so they you know they they don't say anything to you um but otherwise you know you're you're allowed to leave there are still a few archers that are up on the walls but obviously not nearly as many as before um <laughs> and then you figure that the rest are like you know out in the city um so yeah you, you don't have any problem like leaving when you get out to the middle of the road though um there's still uh two dozen dead bodies in the street um most of them filled with arrows um most of them uh i think it was like 10 of them were like allies and then the rest of them would have been uh you know commoners um yeah, and so I mean they're they're still they're still in the street, um, dead. And so I, I mean, as you look at this, you do realize, and you know, you can agree or disagree with this statement, but this is one of those that unfortunately some people are going to hold you responsible for this because these people would not necessarily have been dead if you hadn't attacked the castle, whatever you're in. Uh, All right, right. I'm just you know right, that's, right. That's, that's that's what people are are you know we're yeah. speaking about. So, um, so but yeah, you can see that as you come out into the street, um, you follow that, you know, those, those roads, as you said, um, the streets are for the most part deserted right now. Uh, people obviously are trying to stay out of the way. Um, when you get to the North gate, um, there hasn't been like necessarily any evidence that you can tell, like there's been fighting at the North gate right now. Um, but it's it is not uh there's not a, there's not like a heavy garrison of troops that are manning it it's, it's it's super light um and so getting out of this um might require a little bit of of i don't know either force or charisma or whatever it is but i'm gonna say you figure it out and you get outside the gate because i mean it's not it's not gonna require much you either kill like three guards which won't take long or you you we we, we keep Sorry. charisma. Just talk we my charisma way out. Our way out yeah, I'll talk my way out. Yeah. Right. Or you're able to, you know, figure out 
how to get past them. You could even uh, try to sneak your way past them if you wanted to. I, I think um, we're just going to persuade them. Yeah. yeah, all right. And so whatever it is, yeah, you're able to get to, you know, out of the gate. When you get to the other side of the north gate, you see that. <laughs> yep. Yep. There it is. I am glad you. We are not fighting tonight because your die rolling <laughs> has been horrible. <laughs> oh, wow. is Mike, is Mike there for y'all? Is he? He might be is frozen. He frozen? He looks I got frozen. a frozen I don't know. right now. I can't I hear you. No. He rolled a one and broke. Broke. <laughs> That's an epic failure. <laughs> your one broke everything. <laughs> Um, Mike, can you hear me? Can you hear us? Hmm. Oh. oh, he's back. Maybe. Is he back? All right. All right. Are we all here for you and everything? Soup isn't yet, but he'll show up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get there, Soup. Yeah. Soup, can you hear Mike? Um, no, I can't hear Mike. Yeah. You can't even hear Mike. Okay. Uh, I can't. Be, you guys can hear Mike? Yeah, we, we can uh, hear Mike. We can hear you. Yeah. Gonna... Oh no no no! Just let just let it let it do its magic. It'll work. All right. You'll this always it. happens with like Only five one. minutes left in the I episode. Lost John, where just everything just breaks again. again. You guys got Sue for no. I, I don't forgot. Have the, I forgot. I'll have have you. I don't even have now. Drew or. Don't yeah. Whoever pulled the trigger on the refresh, bad idea. <laughs> that, was my, that was my fault. Uh oh. Uh -oh. I forgot to the oh, broke it. Irene. Yep. Stop rolling once. There's so much more pressure Stop on the refresh now. Uh, oh, I, see soup. Soup. I got I got soup. No. Wow, I haven't seen most oh, I of I hear you. him. Yeah. I hear you. I hear him. Your pattern, what? but I hear yeah. you. You know, I can see soup. Johnny's got a blue bar, but I can see I Johnny. Him. I haven't seen him in like an hour. And Mike can, I can see everybody. <laughs> I don't see you. Don't you don't need Mike, to see me. I haven't I seen see most Mike of you for the hour. It's been fine. Okay. Can Mike or Drew <laughs> here? But you have Johnny, Soof? I've, I've got Johnny. everybody. I have Johnny. Do you guys have... Wait. Drew does not have Johnny, Drew then? Drew doesn't have Johnny. Who can mm. hear me? Can you guys see and hear Johnny? Yeah, I can hear Johnny. Yeah, I got Johnny. I cannot hear him. Try try refreshing your web browser. Not, not roll 20. That's right. completely browser. broken. The browser itself. Are you talking to me or are you talking to... Sorry, Mike was I apologize. Yeah, I was talking to them. Yeah. Okay. Not you, Johnny. All right. Uh, to Mike and Drew. All right. They're refreshing. Drew is spinning. Yeah. I see Drew yeah. spinning. They're both I see Mike spinning. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, no, I think Roll20 tried to fix some things, and they rolled a one. Maybe. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> not sure if the, I'm not sure if the, like, I'm going to refresh should refresh everybody necessarily. That might not be. I don't think that's working for The him. best way to do it. Yeah. Yes. Anyway, never fails. They're they're walking along. They're walking along. We're all walking along. Everything's fine. Well, I wanted to describe <laughs> yeah. that everything Lynch is fine. Here. How fine everything was. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to refresh the web browser again. All right. I'm gonna fix it. Ready? I'm gonna try to refresh the web browser as well. Mm -hmm. Did I fix it? I fix it. I can see everybody but Johnny. Oh, I didn't fix it. I can see you. Oh, just, just me? Yep. I don't. Can you hear anybody else? No. Drew's spinning. Johnny's a map. That's great. Oh, hey, Johnny's so back. I got everybody but Soof. I got Johnny. I've got, I have everybody. Drew's spinning for me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Drew, can you hear me? Oh, there's Su oh, I saw Soof. There's Soof. Oh, all right, I got yeah, everybody but Drew. Again. I got five. I got all but Drew. I right, Drew's a picture. Johnny, I can hear, but he's mad. Uh, Drew and John, uh, Josh, I can see both and hear both of you. What did okay. you say, Mike? I can. Johnny's a map, but I think I can hear him. I have Johnny. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it's just Drew and Josh don't have each other. I don't. Yeah. I see Drew as a picture, not as a. Yeah, we've we've got both awesome. of you. Okay, well, that's close enough. Can you can you hear everybody, Josh? I can't hear Drew if he's talking. He is um, talking. He's yeah, laughing. Yeah, yeah. He's I don't, laughing. Your foolishness. I don't. Drew, hear... can you hear Josh? No. 
Yeah. No, y'all can't hear each other. All right. Well, they that's, can't hear each other. That's cool. We'll we'll show up for each other later. I think right? that's 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 a good um We're close. Well, that's opportunity. Yeah. Drew, what? Drew, just watch the tr the Twitch stream. <laughs> yeah. You know what Josh is saying. Just a little yeah. late. You'll you'll only be a few seconds behind. It'll it'll be fine. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So as you. Okay. <laughs> Oh, there's Drew. Oh. Oh, never I'm mind. Here. I don't do that. Never mind. Oh, shit. <laughs> so you guys have Drew now? Yeah. I got Drew. I have Drew. Right. I'll, I'll be back. Soof. Do you know? Oh, man. What? No. Oh, no. Oh, man. Oh, no. I don't think this works. I mean, it's it like kind... one broken link. Kind of works. There's Soof. You know, Look, like, he's back. There he is. I've got five. Yay. Are we all here? Yeah. We're all here. Okay. Yeah. So as you exit the north gate, uh, the thing that strikes you first, not literally strikes oh, you, say, what's, no, right, don't strike us. Uh, <laughs> is striking to you, uh, is all the land that you can see, as far as the eye can see, uh, it looks like it's been raised. Uh, the the farmland. I mean, this was this was farmland. Um, the farmland here has been burned. Uh, buildings are in ruins, crumbled. Um, there's evidence of both a siege and a fight, uh, and, you know, uh, I mean, it doesn't look like it's like scorched earth or anything, but it just looks like it's been, uh, there's not a lot left here that's, um, usable, at least right now. Um, then, and, and as you ride or walk, are you gonna do the horses when you get to the river or? Yeah. Yeah, we'll get over the bridge and then okay. horse up. So as you as you head down this you know, head down the road, um you obviously there's no traffic on the road right now. Uh so you you know, you pass out through the on the road. Um and again the anything that's close to the road uh has just been, you know, destroyed. It's in ruins. Um uh, and so eventually you do get to the river, uh, you get to the bridge. Um, <clears throat> the bridge has, uh, I mean, it's a pretty good bridge, uh, and it has evidence of damage, but it's still there. Um, and it's, it needs some repair, but it's, it still works, um, as you're, you know, able to pass over it. Um, and so as you, uh, as Gus summons horses for you, uh, and you mount your fey horses, uh, and you, you know, ride off north into the vastwood towards, uh, Red Tree, um, you see more evidence, obviously, of a passing army. Um, this was the direction you were, you know, you were told this is where the army came from. And so you see there's evidence of it. Um, I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility that you may even come across a stray unit or two and even sapped as you are right now i don't think it'd be much problem for you to take them out if you had decided to be like there's a squad of 12 soldiers over there we're gonna go make them have a bad day you shouldn't be wearing valeus as well oh, if it's valeus dudes yeah oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. 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 so i mean like I mean, fine Grim, or you might... Grim and the Farron could just deal with them yeah. as we ride yeah. by yeah yeah, or you might find uh, uh, some, um, maybe some lost eagles that are amidst, amidst the crowd. But, you know, again, it's all... Yeah. Lost so, eagles are dead, the last troops are dead. Yeah, yeah. these these CR half guys are not going to be any problem for you. So, you, you know, you, you, you know, you, it's not nothing, you know, nothing that you can't handle. So, I mean, you, you know, but for the most part, you don't see much evidence of... of people as you ride towards red tree um was your plan to ride all the way to red tree and then rest or was it just like to find a find a hidey one, hole somewhere and yeah get rest. One hour rest get close ish close enough that we're not i don't think we even need to get close i think we oh, just like... need to find a nice place to stop have brunch <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah because we're gonna get there whenever we get there like it's we don't need to be close we need to be rested especially us warlocks yeah yeah Okay. Yeah, yeah, great. Great. I mean, we want to get like past, horses. like yeah. past battle, battle area. Yeah. Right. 
Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, you ride a little bit until you, you feel seven of it. You know, you can veer off a little bit into the woods and you're, yeah, you, you, you're able to find a spot. Um, and if you want to take an hour to rest, um, go for it. And if there's anything you want to do in this hour, let me know. Yeah, roll hit dice. Yeah, spend some hit dice. That'd be cool. Spend some hit dice. When does all this stuff come back? Oh, good start. Wasn't a good start. That's a long rest. How about Very this? good start. Man. I hope the Maladius isn't waiting for you because you guys are going to die on those hit dice rolls. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> those are all my D10s. <laughs> that was Can I give myself 15 temporary hit points for all the souls that we just harvested? <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, guess, I guess if you get something out of a. Do they last through? Thing, yeah, rest? yeah. Yeah, you can do last till a long rest. Nice. Do what? They last till a long rest. Oh, wow. Yeah, the temporary hit points. Yeah. Oh, come on. <gasps> Freaking kidding me. No. Have I seen a number okay. over over five yet? Yeah, we rolled a few of those. There you go. I rolled yeah. eleven. I, hey. I just rolled another max on my D eight. Did you? All right. Yeah, we rolled it twice now. I'm still rolling because of all the other all rolls. Right. I just had to get the dice warmed up, I guess. Yeah, exactly. There we go. I got one left. Might as well use it. <laughs> use them all. I mean, why not? Might as well top it off. I mean, I wouldn't say I got topped off, but I'm closer. So Most of the way there. When you got back half your hit dice on a day, you got the good ones. Is that a safe assumption? <laughs> I would assume so. Yeah, you pick the yeah. hit dice. Pick yeah, the you good ones pick. first. Yeah. Yeah, you get to pick. Yeah. I always did for Andraco. I don't know if I was supposed yeah. to. Or not, but I didn't ever take that. I didn't ever take that D6. <laughs> <laughs> always D12s first. Yeah. Wow. All right. Half means half of your total, right? <laughs> yeah, half total rounded up. I think it's the one thing that rounds up. That's fine with me. Because otherwise at level one, you'd never get your hit die back. Right. That's it. So you spend an hour feeling a little better about yourselves. Yeah. 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 And then... And then... Do we wake up? Mount, uh, mount the Fey horses again and continue riding? Yeah, we're we're yeah. gonna go find Ephelus. Yeah, we're what, 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 the encampment definitely where just my body. definitely just sitting there. The story yeah. was that he got separated, right? And that some some she, who could that be, so that he'd be gone for a few days. Oh. Um, oh. so some she. As some we get she. closer, start doing more like. Ranger or rangery things, trackery things to okay. see if yeah. we can discern, slow down, start to discern. Yeah, and so the other thing too, I just looked up is that the uh, horses only lasted an hour. So, oh, that's right. Yeah. So you rode out an hour and then rested and then on the horse. Horse went away and then you rested, and then uh, since those are spell slots, I don't know. He doesn't get those back. We can, yeah, back. we could well, we could yeah. walk the rest. Yeah, so it, it's probably going to take you a little longer to walk there. But again, it's still, a, you know, you think you'll get you think you'll get to the red tree area um, by, you know, nightfall. by nightfall at the latest, probably be late afternoon. Um, so, yeah. And so as you're moving. So what are you looking for, Drew, as you're rangering? I mean, uh, signs of. Yeah, the the story we got is that 
Ephelus went out with this group, and then they got separated. Mm -hmm. So I assume there was some sort of conflict, if if there's any signs of a conflict that, especially one that would have had Ephelus in it. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, I don't know. This this stall's pretty cold, so I'm not I'm not expecting this to necessarily work. But if yeah. well, we'll make a um make a make a ranger roll. Nature, survival. survival. One of those. Survival. Nope. Nailed it. <laughs> um, you, it, you don't, number one, you don't see any evidence of Ethelus. Um, number two, you, you do see that there is some evidence, some, uh, especially as you stay relatively close to the road, of, as I said, armies that were passing, but then also, um, you know, uh, signs of conflict, not not at the same level that they were closer to the city, um, but, you know, uh, you know, splintered trees and things like that, that would suggest um, there was some fighting, recent fighting out, out further from the city. Um, but no, like, you know, big fireball hit this tree over here, hit That's this grove over here. Now you, don't, you don't, don't, don't find anything like that. No. Yeah. Okay. Um, but you continue, you know, like I said, you, you, you go most of the day and um, you get closer to where, you know, Red Tree um, and Red Tree gets its name from, uh, they build a, essentially a bunch of you know, houses on this uh, road that split off and there was like a tree, red, oddly enough, growing near the near the road. So that's where they built their little hamlet, you know, near it. So um, you get close, you know, you draw closer to it um, and you know you're in the vicinity of it. Uh, and as you are, you know, approaching, um, everybody make a perception roll. <laughs> That one of you is gonna see it. Yes, <laughs> somebody got it. Keen eyes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> also keen eyes. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Rowan and Grim. Uh, and you know what? I'm gonna roll for Gus. His perception isn't very good. Just, oh, hey! Hey, Gus. Look at Gus rolling a crit. Dang. Yeah. So the three of you, um, as you're approaching... Um, this work. work? Yep. That was for Melan. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just subtract 20 from whatever. Subtract 20? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seems right. Okay. You got yeah. a minus four. So, the three of you um, see as you are like heading that direction. Uh, you can see a five foot wide, ten foot tall uh, shimmer in the air. Oh, and it's it's not on the road, but it's over here, and it's like I said, it, so it's five feet wide so one block wide but it's it's 10 feet tall and it's it's a shimmer that's exciting <laughs> the wall of force that's strange what does it do what's strange Rowan <laughs> there's a criminal point yeah, there's some kind oh. of something over there. Not, I mean, it's not really something. It's you see what I mean, Grim? Yes, the air is broken. <laughs> yeah. The turn will look over that way. How do you break air? Magic. And I mean, once and once they point it out, like, yeah, you can you can see it, like, you know, you can see it. It just, I mean, it's not like it's rippling, but it's it's. There's, it it looks different. Mm -hmm. I walk over toward it. Ethelus, is that you?
This isn't like anything we've seen before, or? This is a lot like what we've seen before. Is it like what we've seen before? Ah! Uh, what have we seen before? He put up like uh, smoke clouds around himself. Wall of Force? Yeah. We've seen Wall of Force before. Yeah, we have seen Wall, Wall of Force, Force is completely, Wall of Force is completely invisible. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is, I don't know. I feel like this is. Graham, yeah. Graham will take out a cop, well, I guess there's stones around. He'll take a stone and toss it at the wall. And it, so it, it hits the shimmer and then it disappears. Ooh. And doesn't come out the other side. That's a portal. Does it look like it turned into sand? No, it's a portal, guys. Yeah, I think someone's. It's where Epilus is. I did. Or, so, or, or resting in so there. So we just go in? I mean, that's what you always do with a portal. Graham shrugs. Yeah, go away. Okay. And he'll start walking in. What can go wrong? <laughs> Rowan oh, just told me to go into a I portal. Mean, Last time Rowan told Graham to go into a portal, everything was fine. Yeah. So Graham walks in. The Farron will put up um, <laughs> flame shield and armor of Agathus and then go in. Okay. I mean, yeah. You always Thank like. You, Graham. Grim walk in, like walk towards it, and hits you know hits the shimmer, and then and then disappears. Look, if you can end an episode with walking into a portal, <laughs> why not? End an episode with walking into a we portal. ended it. a lot of good episodes that yeah, way, and started a yeah, lot of good episodes that way. Yep, we do. So, all right, is that is that what we all do? Uh, that's what we do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we walk in, I guess. I. Somebody's car- are you on a carry kind of Yeah, or... I'll carry Milan in. Yeah, I've, carry I've, I've been. Somebody's carrying I've been Milan. carrying Milan most of the way. Whoever's yeah. carrying Milan should not go first. No, I'll go last. But all right, I like say I'll talk to him before we get in and say, "Here we go, buddy." <laughs> <laughs> it's time to find uh, out us. And so you pass in, pass through, and yeah, normally this would be like time to end, but I didn't want to end quite yet. Ooh. So when you walk in, uh. You know, it, 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 it's not blinding, but it just it takes a second for your eyes to adjust that you've passed through a portal. And when they do adjust, uh, you find yourself uh, in, a, uh, in a magnificent foyer uh, that is uh, super, like you're inside, uh, and it's clean. It's, it's, like, it's beautiful in here. Uh, there's a long table in front of you. Um, there are many chambers that are off this one, and then there's stairs that go up, and there's chambers you can see like around the. Uh, there's like a walkway above you, um, and there's food on the table, uh, and there's a there's a a fire like in a in a hearth off to the side, uh, and you know you take all this in. And then you see an elf that you know um, standing at the table, and he's got this copper piece in his hand that somebody <laughs> saw, and he's holding it. Uh, and he and he looks at it, and then he looks at you as you're walking in, and he goes, "Huh?" And he puts his hand on the table and then you look at what his hand is on and his hand is resting on the dragon head statue and he says huh right on time <laughs> and we end the episode there it is nice awesome. there it is. <laughs> uh, all right perfect Ephelus. so was he, he not surprised to see these dudes we'll find not- out next time uh, I can tell you that you see no sense of surprise in him whatsoever. It's huh right on time is more of a huh. Wow. Okay. So, cool. yeah. Look, he, he looked probably up. already did the shocked thing when he had a long conversation with the guardians. Did... He looked at all the possible futures. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. <laughs> he knows exactly what's happening. <laughs> Yeah. Short term. Yep. Must be it. Short term. Must yeah. be it. Short term. Cool. All right. Well, thanks for hanging out with us, everybody. Oh wow. Well, um, we might have something next week. We'll see. 
It might not be live. It might be recorded and come out later. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. You know, keep up with us on Twitter, and then you'll know what we know. Uh, and then two weeks from now, there won't be anything. So we'll either see you next week for something, or we'll see you'll see recorded us for next week, and we'll be back live in three weeks. So and that'll be and that'll be Scion in three weeks. that'll be Scion, hopefully. Yes. So <laughs> right. D yeah. yeah D and D will this will resume potentially in four weeks yes. maybe. <laughs> Yes, maybe we'll four maybe, weeks from yeah. now. Potentially, maybe. Our, we call this like maybe this is the end of a season and we're taking a break. Yeah, it's right. the mid season. Yeah. Mid season break. Mid season, yeah. 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 All right. Well, yeah. whatever it is, we will see you all next time. Night, everybody. Hey, everyone. Night, everyone.